Um, I feel very excited to share this message today because it's about the good news, the gospel. <laughs> and I really just, I, I would love to talk specifically to people who feel like they, they don't have a place in Christ church, who feel like they, they've done too many things or they, they do things that could, can never be forgiven or that they've just that they've lived too far out of the the commandments or they've they've hurt people and and they have that guilt and feel like they can never be forgiven or or if they just feel like they they just don't belong they don't fit in whether that's because of things that they are experiencing or going through or have gone through and i really just i hope that people feel and understand that they have a place in Christ Church and they always will they always have even from the very beginning that <laughs> there has been a place prepared for them and there is a place prepared for all of us in God's kingdom in, in, in the eternities there is a place there is there's a mansion that he has prepared for us. It's just up to us if we want to choose it. And I just want to give that hope today, just to remember that you do have a place and, and that because of Christ, your past does not define you, your present does not define you. No matter what other people say or how, how you feel what, what the adversary, what the world tells you. That God is telling you that you have a place. And this scripture that, that I want to kind of base things off of, it's kind of come up a lot in the last couple weeks. And I, I have felt, when I first kind of read it or, or heard it months ago, it was just really, really powerful and cool, but, but lately it's, it's become more special and, and more applicable in, in, in helping us understand the gospel. And so um, I would just love to, to just go into it. It's, it's 1 Corinthians chapter 6 in the New Testament, and it starts in verse 9, and it says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived. Well, okay, back up. This is Paul talking to members of a church. So he's not just preaching to people who, who he, he, everyone needs to be taught repentance, right? That's why we go to church because no matter whether we are following Christ and, and trying to, or we are rebelling against God, we, we need to repent. It's, it's a lifelong, continuous, beautiful process. So Paul is talking to members of a church. So just to start over, know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators nor idolaters nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners, shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you. But ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus, and by the Spirit of our God. <laughs> I love, I, I love this, how he says, and such were some of you. So to people who feel like they have, have crossed the lines and, and don't feel like that they are clean enough to, to 
go to church to to follow Christ. I, I hope we realize that people, Christians, all Christians have a past. Everybody has a past. But it says right here, ye are washed, ye are sanctified. Ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. So no matter what we've done, we can be washed and cleaned. And, and that, that dirtiness, that guilt can be, can be taken off. <laughs> and, and we can be sanctified, which, which means to be made holy, to be made more pure. And, and I've noticed along with, with that, it's, it, it does come with being more sensitive. But that is such a special gift because when we have the Holy Ghost with us, we, we are more sensitive. And it might not mean that, that you cry all the time or that you, you just hurt all the time. That's not, what, that, that's not what I'm meaning. I'm meaning that you feel when the Holy Ghost is there and when it's not. You feel when something is a good decision when when a, a song is is good to listen to that brings the spirit when a movie is is good and when songs and movies and whatever it is a place a decision is bad you can feel that and 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 that comes with with having the holy ghost and i know i talk about that a lot but that's because it is the Holy Ghost is the thing that actually washes us and sanctifies us. And, and it's through Christ. Because he was willing. <laughs> he was willing to go through everything. To take on our sins. To take on our pain. To feel God's, God's wrath. The feeling of of not being with God, being separated from his father, he was willing to feel all that, even though he was perfect, because he loved his God, his father. And, and that love made him love us perfectly. <laughs> and so I promise that, that when, when you feel like you don't fit in because of things you've done, other people, so many other people are, have felt that way or still feel that way. But we go to church because we love God. Because we have felt the power <laughs> of this, this washing and sanctifying. And, and we want it more. We, there's nothing more special than, than seeing how Heavenly Father has transformed you your heart and, and that that will make you want to to share it with everybody <laughs> um it's it's just so special and exciting <laughs> um i've i i have felt that that it's been hard to to kind of fit in especially with people just my age. Um, I mean, ever since I, like, growing up, I just kind of felt like I, I just didn't fit in, that I was out of place. But one thing that I, I have always felt is that in, in church, in, in Christ church, with people who, who really are loving God and aren't judging unrighteously and wrongfully, that you, you you feel that you are where you are where you belong because that is where we belong in Christ's family and there's a talk that I was I've listened to it quite a bit but look I forgot which one it is but it talks about how when when we are are following God and loving God with all our hearts 
then we find who we are and it says it so much better so I need to to figure out what that is <laughs> but it's it's so true that when when we are are doing the things that we know are right in choosing God we we feel that 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 feeling of just being at home and something that that I think is hard though is is the feeling like you like you don't deserve it of of that guilt coming up again and and it making you feel like like because you disobeyed God or because you hurt people that that Heavenly Father is still upset but I promise you that he's not yeah like he he's sad he he's sad when we when we break his commandments that keep us safe and and when we hurt and when his other children hurt he is so broken-hearted but Christ came Heavenly Father has the plan and so he's not he's not worried but he's just he's always reaching out to us and he he gives us hope when we search for it in the right places where there is hope where the spirit can be there with the people who have their their hearts focused on God there is a there is a talk called ensuring a righteous judgment and months and months ago I I found this talk and it it honestly really it brought so much hope to me of with with the feeling like like even though I had hurt people I had hurt Heavenly Father's children that one day because of the Savior just like I have felt the power and the healing of, of Christ that they can too that Heavenly Father will give them that opportunity too and and I pray every day that they will one day take that and in this talk um, this elder he talks about um, this is from the April 2020 general conference but he talks about Alma the Younger and how when he was being rescued he was he was going through this this three-day kind of torment and then through it he remembered his father talking about Jesus Christ coming to atone or to 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 take on all of the sins of, of everyone and redeem them from their sins so that they can be clean and be forgiven and and walk in different paths and it's this part was so beautiful reading because it just it brought so much hope to me and he says the joyous truth on which Alma's mind caught hold was not just that he himself could be made clean but also that those whom he had harmed could be healed and made whole <laughs> I I promise that the savior can heal. <laughs> and and as human beings we can never be fully whole. But but healing and and becoming whole is a part of this the the gospel path the covenant path and and as we are are more sanctified and and we feel that that purity 
and, and that love of Heavenly Father, we're just reminded of, of how gracious He is and how much we need Him. And it's just so special. And, and I really just want everyone to feel that. So please, if you, if you feel like you don't fit in or that you, you've done things that, that can't be forgiven or if people knew, then, then you would be shamed and ridiculed. Please don't let that keep you from, from starting back or starting for the first time. In, in the gospel journey, in living the gospel. It's, it's not as complicated as people make it seem. <laughs> yes, it is hard because you might have to, you will have to give up things that you have loved. But <laughs> God will show you <laughs> that everything that, that you are are sacrificing for him he will give in so much greater abundance and you will feel a real wholeness this this fulfillment that you belong and that that you are loved and that people don't care what you've done they are just so happy to have you there with them to help them <laughs> And I just, I, I want to leave that, leave that just with so much love and compassion. And I say this in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.